Good day, I'm the Reverend Ronald Nathan, and we are broadcasting to you from the Hogad Amy Zion Church, which is located in Jackson, St. Michael, in the beautiful island of Barbados. It's Easter Sunday today, Resurrection Sunday. The Gospels uh, in the Christian Bible tells us that on this day, Jesus Christ came out of the tomb he rose from the dead. And this is a fundamental and a, a central part of the Christian uh, message and gospel that Jesus Christ died and on the third day he rose again from the dead. I want to talk to you just for a couple of moments on the subject, we too must rise. We too must rise. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and the 19th verse, it tells us, if only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are all people most to be pitied. In other words, what the Apostle Paul is telling the Corinthian church and telling us is that our lives are not just based upon a historical reality but it has to also be a contemporary reality the Christ that rose from the dead must also be evident in us and we too must rise just as we are Christians that is followers of Christ we must also follow Christ by living a life that is resurrected we must rise above our physical circumstances. We must rise above our social limitations. We must rise above our spiritual failings. In other terms, we too must rise. We must rise and leave aside those physical things that would normally hold us down. Whether we are rich or poor, whether we are middle class or considered to be a part of the underclass, when Jesus Christ comes into our lives, he transforms us and so we rise. We rise from our social limitations. Some may put limits on us based upon our color, based upon our creed, based upon our racial uh, orientation um, or whatever. We too must rise above these limitations. We must rise above our spiritual failings in the sense that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, but we, now that we've come to Christ, are free from the chains of sin and we can give ourselves and commit ourselves to living a life that is beyond our sins. In other words, as the Apostle Paul said, that sin that so easily beset us, we can now put aside because of the power of God that works in us. That same power that raised Christ from the dead, uh, the Apostle Paul tells us, dwells in us and he will quicken our mortal bodies. Yes, we must rise. We must rise so that we are able to live the full life that he has promised us. He said, you will have life and you will have it more abundantly. There are at least 13 appearances mentioned in the Old Testament, uh, sorry, in the New Testament uh, of Jesus being seen after the resurrection, what we call post-resurrection appearances. What I have drawn from that is that Jesus Christ appeared in different places and in different spaces at different times. We too must also rise and appear before the people, appear before our fellow brothers and sisters, our colleagues, our work colleagues, and so forth. We must rise. 
Jesus appeared in Jerusalem, he appeared in Emmaus, he appeared in Galilee, he even appeared in Bethany at one occasion, and later on he would appear to the Apostle Paul in Damascus. So we must rise above our circumstances, our social limitations, our spiritual failings, but we must also rise in terms of our, as we appear and present Jesus Christ before others. And so in different spaces and to different faces, we must present Jesus Christ risen from the dead. But finally, I want to suggest to you that we must rise with a clear message. And the message is, he's not dead, he is risen. And the miracle of the gospel is that he's also risen in us. And we must communicate that gospel, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, the only means through which we can be saved. I pray that this Resurrection Sunday, you would experience resurrection in your life above your physical, social, and spiritual circumstances and situations. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, I just pray, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will come upon all those who are within earshot of my voice. Those seeing these images on the uh, computer screen, on their tablets, on their phones. We pray, O oh God, that they may experience the resurrected power of the Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that every social, every physical, every spiritual force that would hold them back would be broken and destroyed and they would be set free to rise up in newness of life. O oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you appreciate this video, we'd ask you to certainly uh, to share it with someone. We would ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and even more so, just so that we know that you are viewing, give us a thumbs up. May God bless you richly this Easter Resurrection Sunday.